Yo, what's up guys? About four months ago, I made a video describing how I make money, how I play the game, and my in-game goals. So, uh, it's been a while, so I'm going to do an update video for this. So the first thing I'd like to address is my YouTube and Twitch channel. Uh, I just recently hit 4k subs on YouTube and 3.8k on Twitch. So thank you guys so much for that. It means a lot. makes it worth doing. Uh, so I really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for the support. Moving on, I'd like to talk about how I make money. I grind for most of my money. I get a little bit on the side from life skills and a little bit from events. So for grinding, I like to grind at mansions mostly, as you guys can see from my videos. But I make anywhere from 50 mil without a loot scroll to 60 to 250 mil with a loot scroll. Uh, and I actually use loot scrolls quite a lot. When I started playing the game and buying the 90 days, I never used my loot scrolls on my warrior because I thought it would be inefficient. So I just happened to save them. When I started playing my Musa, I had about 50. So I've just been using those at mansions and uh, centaurs for a while and a little bit at Aukman. And I've been making a buttload of money from that. Uh, I grind anywhere from one to four hours a day uh, and make anywhere from 100 to 200 mil a day. Uh, the grind spots I like to go is either Mansions, uh, Aukman, Murmok, or Gyphon. Murmok, not so much anymore after it got nerfed, but uh, for a while there I made a bunch of money from it. Uh, the life skills that I do, I make costumes and sell those. Uh, I AFK fish for relics and sell them. And right now we got an event going that gives you these rarity boxes and it's made fishing very nice money overnight. So overnight I AFK fish and then I also make T3 mats out of Calpheon. Uh, I, I, I have my processor there and I just basically combine stuff, make steel, brass, uh, and bronze and sell that. For events, I get money from their boxes, uh, event drops, out grinding. Uh, I get money from payouts, turning in my tokens for RBF, and uh, showing up to bosses. I get a little bit of money from those things too. But I'd probably say 80% of my money is from grinding, and uh, the other 20% is split between uh, the little bit of life skilling I, doing, I do and the events that I uh, do. Uh, so these last two things I wasn't going to talk about, but I thought I'd just add them in. But uh, there are two other ways that I make money as well, and that's enhancing for profit and buying accessories while they're low due to events, then selling them when they're high. Enhancing for profit, I've done quite a lot. But the reason why I don't really want to talk about it too much is because it doesn't always work and I do not recommend it to anyone. But uh, I'll just explain it a little bit. But uh, I just buy accessories and smash them for pry and duo, then sell them. Uh, and I've had some success, but mostly failure. So I don't really like doing this that much, but I've done it with whales the most. Uh, the buying accessories while they're low and selling high, I've actually never done before, except for now. Uh, so right now I'm at about 7.6 bill silver. Uh, about two weeks ago I was at 8 bill silver, and I ended up spending... Uh, I don't remember exactly how much, but I bought about 400 red coral earrings and a buttload of ancient guardian seals and weapon cores. So I have those on characters and in wagons all over uh, the map. So I'm giving that a try for the first time. Uh, I should have about 13 to 14 bill silver by the time that they're at max price and I can sell them, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, took a bit of a risk or a gamble to try it. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So that's how I make money. Now let's uh, move on to my in-game goals. Currently the number one priority is to get a Bell's Heart. Uh, for the 3 AP, and that'll send me from 277 to 280 Awakened, and 266 to 269 in Unawakened. So that is my current number one goal, is to get a Vel's Heart, and so I'll either get that as a drop, 
win a bid or uh, pre-order it. Right now, I've set myself a goal to try and reach 10 bill silver, uh, and I'm almost there. So I'm just going to keep saving and uh, see if we can maybe pre-order one. The next thing I was interested in getting is an often. So right now, so I'd be looking to get a Tet often to replace my Kazarka, and I'm still debating it, but um, yeah, so getting a Tet often. Right now I'm at 92 auras. We'll do prob probably uh, one to three more offens, and I'll have enough to open the box. Uh, and I'm still deciding if I'm going to enhance it up or not, but uh, an often has been a goal of mine. Third was a Tet Red Coral Earring. And so like I said earlier, how I was buying the red corals, uh, that was to turn a profit and resell them. But I almost might enhance them up to tap myself, some of them, and get a tap red coral earring to use that with my often. And I will show you the skill build that I've been working on and thinking about. But uh, I have two ideas of what I'm going to do. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so looking at this, this is my current gear. Uh, but add 2 AP to the Waken because I have the level 3 pen dandy uh, from Kafra's. So 277. So like I said, our first goal, getting that Vel's Heart. That'll add 3 Sheet AP to both uh, Unawakened and Awakened. So I'll be 280 and 269 uh, because I have one level in my uh, Kazarka. But so this is where it gets interesting. So what I was originally going to do with the Often is I'm going to swap to often and then to make up for the accuracy loss what I was going to do is just going to, I was going to swap to a, a tet red coral earring and so then I'd be 277 stay in my AP bracket and uh, 269 but I was uh, advised against this because I was told you lose a ton of accuracy from swapping Zarka to often more than I realized so I'm still thinking about it I think I'm going to hold off on this build, but I'll still be getting the often and I'll have the red corals. So if I decide to do it, I'll be able to enhance the often up and I'll be able to enhance the red corals up. But uh, my other idea was to stick with what I've got. Stay Kazarka. And so to get to two, 281 AP, which is the next AP bracket, and I'm currently stuck at 280 with this build, what I was going to do is I was going to Kafras my dandy to level 5, which will be roughly 2,000 Kafras. I'm at about 500 right now, so I'm just going to have to save Kafras and get there, and that'll get me to the 281. I was thinking about going for a Tet Tungrad Earring, but uh, because Kafras are a safer option and a guarantee guaranteed gain, I think I'm just going to stick with the Kafras and leave the Tet Tungrad alone till later. Uh, and so that is my current immediate goals for gear so that almost covers all of it uh i'm gonna keep grinding keep making money i'm at about 7.8 bill at the moment as i'm making this video with uh over five bill in accessories to sell so that'll be a while but i'm just gonna keep grinding and uh saving up for that vel's heart pre-order uh gonna keep bidding on them as i go i forgot to mention i'm also going for t9 uh, so I'm at about nine fails right now, so we're gonna keep going for that and seeing what we can do. Uh, I hope for the Pegasus, but if I get the Unicorn or Pegasus, I'll be happy with either. So that about wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for the follows, subs, everything. It's going really well and I really appreciate it. I'm going to try and stick to a schedule of uploading at least two to three YouTube videos a week. And I also have a stream schedule now. So I'll leave that in the description for you guys to check out. And also the link to my Twitch channel. If you guys want to talk to me or chat about anything, uh, make sure you come and check out my stream if you weren't aware that I uh, stream. But, yep, that about does it. Thank you guys again for watching. Uh, leave any questions or comments down below.